Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and I saw this at Angelica Liremar's channel and I was like, I think I've done it and I have but then it was when I had my videos in Swedish so I have never done this in English so I was like, okay, I want to do a tag video so I can do this and I haven't checked out the video I did, it was maybe one and a half years ago. I haven't checked that out, so I don't know if I have new answers or not. But this tag is called My Makeup Habits and it is created by Daniel Schmidt, which is a friend of mine here on YouTube. So yeah, this is 13 questions and I'm just going to try to answer them, so I just think we hop into this video. The first question. How often do you wear a full face of makeup? Like foundation, eyeshadow, contour, the works. And it is not that often. Or I do it when I'm filming and I'm trying to film at least three times a week. So yeah, three times a week and then maybe one extra time if I'm going like out to eat with my boyfriend. But it's not always that I use makeup when I'm going out. But mostly like three or four times a week. It depends. Some weeks I just like record for like five days and then I do full face of makeup five times that week. But in normal case I would say three or four times a week. Question number two. Is your everyday makeup look more natural or more colorful? And my everyday makeup look is eyebrows. So, but I have no like trouble to do this and go out, but I would never go like this to work. It won't happen. Once, well, one thing is like I start at 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm not going to sit down and do this at 5 a.m. And also that in my work I know that I'm going to get many comments about this and I am like I'm not having it so my everyday makeup look is neutral and it's like almost nothing so then number three how long does it take you to do your go-to makeup look and I don't know if I have a go maybe I have I usually when I just want something and not like this whole thing I maybe just put on my mineral foundation and eyebrows and like some lighter shade on my lids maybe mascara and some lipstick and then it takes like 10 to 15 minutes but maybe half an hour we can say if I want to do something a little bit more it usually ends up that I'm using soft glam because it is my favorite I want makeup but I don't want anything colorful makeup I should but so say 30 minutes. Question number four. Do you apply your foundation before or after you have done your eyeshadow and after I have done my eyeshadow? First I do my lids, then I do my face and my brows and then I do my under eyes. And I have almost always done that because I don't want to be afraid of getting fallouts and the times where I have done my face first and then my eyes and I have gotten fallout it is like stuck to my foundation and I can't get it off and it like drives me crazy and also I can play so much more and I don't feel like afraid or restricted uh, to get it on my face so I always do my eyeshadow first and then my base. Question number five. What are some bad makeup habits you have that you can't stop doing? And I don't know if I have any maybe I should wash my brushes more often and change my mascara more often but that I think is like the only one and yes I sometimes share my things like with Jessica when she's been here and I have been at her place we have used the same brush not the eye area but like the same highlighter and Maybe that's not good, but uh, it's like I don't care about face things. But other than that, I don't think I have any bad makeup habits that I can think of at least. So no, 
does it mean that I'm good? <laughs> Question number six. Do you use beauty influencer techniques or your own techniques to apply your makeup? And I feel like this is a hard question to like answer because like the most things I have learned for like applying foundation and base products and highlighters and eyebrows I have watched somebody do that and like stuck to the technique and I think I put on my base makeup like most of the people do nothing revolutionary about that so but I think it's hard to like separate what is my own technique and what is like things that most people do. I don't know. If I'm going to be honest, I, I actually don't know. But I think I, I just do me and maybe I am influenced by a beauty influencer. It might be because I have learned this somehow and I haven't come up with it myself. So it's I guess that I am. But I don't know exactly with what. Question number seven. What is the one step in your makeup routine that takes the longest to complete? And that I think it's hard to answer because sometimes it's my base and sometimes it's my eyes. But it depends what I am doing. But maybe... Maybe it is the base. Like with primer then f mixing my foundation and putting on the foundation and then the concealer and like bake a little. So yeah, maybe it is the face. Because the eyes usually go pretty fast for me. Because I like know what I kind of want to do in the beginning and I don't do anything like difficult things. So yeah, I think it's my base that takes the longest time. And that is the boring thing to do as well. Okay, and question number eight is a two-part question. So, 8a. What is one step in your makeup routine that you are okay with skipping? And I would say contour. I do a very light contour and only under my cheekbones. Sometimes I don't even do it. I often do it just to have like a little, but I don't do it all the time. So... I guess that is one step that I am okay with skipping because I'm sometimes skipping it. And 8B is what is one step in your makeup routine that you will never skip and that is eyebrows. I want my eyebrows or I want my eyebrows brows to show. I always think that I look a little bit crazy when I've done like my I'm all done with my lid and then have no eyebrows. It doesn't look good because they are so light, my poor little eyebrows, so I don't think it's complete without eyebrows, so I will never skip it. And I have never like get this trend when people bleached their brows, maybe because I have that look like all my life, but I would never skip brows. Question number nine. What type of makeup looks are out of your comfort zone? And I have to go back to check on my old video to see what I answer. Because it feels like now I don't have any look that is like out of my comfort zone. I can do super natural. I can do super dark. I can do red. I can do green. I can do blue. So I don't think anything is out of my comfort zone. Maybe purple lips. I do not feel that comfortable in purple lips, like in red lips, really dark red lips and black lips, I feel fine. But it's something with purple lips, I am just like, I don't think this suit me. Maybe purple and blue lips, it's like, if I don't have to, I don't use it. So maybe that's out of my comfort zone, purple and blue lips. And really, really, really light lips. Like Barbie pink lips. That is... I don't like that look. On me. Not at all. Question number 10. Do you wear matte liquid lipsticks, cream lipsticks, gloss or a mixture? And I prefer matte liquid lips or like lipsticks from Colourpop. Really love them and I really love the extra matte ones. Creamy lipsticks is not my favorite and lip gloss is definitely not my favorite. I don't want it to be sticky because I live in a windy city 
and if I have a glossy lipstick or gloss on and I go out my hair will get stuck in my lips so liquid matte lipsticks or matte bullet lipsticks matte lips is my favorite that is what I use 95% of all the times I use lipsticks I want though to try more lip glosses but it's not like it's not a favorite for me I have tried but it's like it's so sticky I don't like it question number 11 if you could only wear one shade of lipstick for the rest of your life what would it be and it would be red I love red lipsticks. It's my absolute favorite shade of lipstick. So red. And I would prefer like a little bit deeper red and on the coal toned deeper red. That is my absolute favorite lipstick shade. But red lipsticks. If anybody said like Lisa you could only wear red lipsticks the rest of your life I would have been okay no problems so yeah red lipstick question number 12 do you highlight and contour your face and yes I do I do only yeah, as I said contour under my cheekbones and I highlight uh, now I started to highlight my nose again I didn't do it for a while but now I'm back doing it and I think I like it so Yes, I do contour and highlight. And the highlight I do my here <laughs> and my nose and contour I do here. Sometimes here as well, but it's not always I do that, but sometimes. But like never my nose or my forehead. Even though I have like, I have always hated my forehead. I have like this four finger forehead. <laughs> Something like in top model. Oh, she has a big forehead. I always hated my forehead and I still do I think I have a big forehead I don't like it but I never conquer it I don't know why maybe I should do it or maybe I just should embrace my big forehead I don't know okay question number 13 what is the one step in your makeup routine that makes you feel the most complete and I think again it is eyebrows it feels like I'm always talking about eyebrows brows but I can't feel like finished without them so eyebrows so that was all for this tag and I think it's fun to do tag videos but it feels like I need to find some new tag videos because it feels like I've done a lot of them so if you have any tag that you think I should do please tell me in the comments and I will do it because I really like it and yeah don't forget to check out Danielle and also Angelica and if I find any other of my friends here on YouTube that has done this tag I can leave their videos down in the description as well and I will of course leave all the questions if you want to do this yourself. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!